Ron Najafi, I'm the founder, chairman, and CEO of NovoBay. We're developing anti-infectives with low propensity for developing resistance. NovoBay's technology goes beyond antibiotics. Broadly, we're focused on infection, prevention, and treatment. Our products uh, uh, are extremely effective against fungi, bacteria, and viruses. The global crisis of antibiotic resistance is very similar to a large tsunami heading our way as a result of antibiotic resistant bacteria, such as MRSA, CRE, and other type of superbugs. Superbugs are referred to uh, infections caused by bacteria that we don't have uh, really an antibiotics for. Between US and Europe, according to World Health Organization and Center for Disease Control, we're looking at potentially 4 million infections and over 200,000 deaths. Uh, much of our public is not aware of this fact, uh, that 80% of our antibiotics end up for non-therapeutic purposes in the animal uh, veterinary industry. They're putting into the animal feed uh, for cows and chickens to, uh, to grow fatter. Eventually that low dose antibiotics that amounts to tons of antibiotics ends up into our waters, uh, streams and lakes and bays. Uh, we're interfering with the nature's balance. We're uh, creating a man-made selection so the antibiotics that are in our rivers and streams uh, essentially kill the easy bugs and let the strong bugs survive and flourish. Uh, so it's not a surprise to see uh, carbapenem resistant Enterococcus CRE in Lake of the Ozark or in San Francisco Bay. Antibiotic resistance problem is uh, getting a lot of attention in the Congress of the United States. Uh, the, our California Senator Dianne Feinstein has been spearheading uh, legislation that addresses antibiotic resistance and the uh, farm uh, usage of antibiotics, uh, specifically in non therapeutic uh, uh, applications, uh, and we're, we're very supportive of those uh, legislations. Novobase technology uh, not only it has low propensity for developing resistance, it also environmentally it disarms itself once it ends up into the environment and that's one of the advantages of our technology. Novobay really goes beyond antibiotics. Uh, it's a departure from the classical antibiotics. We have a unique mechanism of action uh, and we're going to be a player in a, you know, a $30 billion industry, antibiotic industry, and we hope to uh, be involved in at least $3 billion uh, uh, of that market uh, in ophthalmology, in uh, uh, urology, and dermatology. In urology, Nova Bay is developing an irrigation solution that addresses blockage and incrustation in a Foley catheter in patients uh, like spinal cord injury patients, MS patients who are permanently catheterized and these patients end up with a colonization of a certain bacteria that causes biofilm and incrustation that causes blockage in their catheter. If you can't empty your bladder, uh, you're going to end up with uh, you know, kidney infection or bladder infection. Uh, the current methodology is an irrigation of these catheters uh, 21 times a week. We're replacing it that with twice a week uh, with our technology. In dermatology, uh, our partner Galderma will be delivering data from a 300 patient study. It's a confirmatory study from a prior study and that's for empatigo. Empatigo is a highly contagious skin infection, typically occurs uh, for patients in, in children between the ages of 2 to 12. We're hopeful that uh, this drug uh, will reduce the antibiotic usage in uh, dermatology. In ophthalmology, our drug uh, has activity against bacterial and uh, viruses, and uh, in 
eye infection typically in the first few days of a pink eye, the physician cannot distinguish between bacterial infection or viral infection. Novobase technology focused on a, currently on viral conjunctivitis because there is no approved drug for viral conjunctivitis and we're in the clinic uh, and we're confirming a prior study that had positive results in viral conjunctivitis and uh, today we're involved in a 500 patient study in the US, India, Sri Lanka and Brazil uh, and we hope to be able to report data in uh, early 2014. This year is going to be a very important year for Novo Bay because we'll, be, we'll have data, confirmatory data from our prior studies uh, we'll be able to announce in the next three months. Uh, our uh, urology data and uh, uh, dermatology data, these are large studies, 300 patient studies uh, and, uh, and also early in 2014 we'll be able to announce data from our ophthalmology trial which is a 500 patient global study. We've been able to invest $150 million that includes our investment and our corporate partners investment into this technology. We know we kill the bacteria, fungi and viruses uh, that are involved in some of the programs we're working with. Uh, we are already standing on prior uh, studies that show effectiveness in these areas such as ophthalmology, dermatology, neurology, and we're in the, uh, on really a comfort, this uh, trials we're doing are confirmation of our prior studies. And uh, we'll be looking at data in the next three months, six months, and nine months in, uh, in all of our programs.